Ever. Biggest letdown in gaming would be not just one thing, but mainly Peter Molyneux or Lionhead Studios, you could say. A giant company who spearheads big games, and then they keep hyping them up so much. The first time I played a Lionhead Studio game was black and white. I loved it. And then later years come by, you know, I'm looking forward to Black and White 2. They're saying that it's going to be the ultimate god game. They're going to add so much more to it. You know, every little villager will have its own AI and think for itself. And, you know, you get your game and that's not true at all. Just the Fable 1 was just all around crappy. All the stuff I was looking forward to doing wasn't there. I couldn't go make my own farm, kill random villagers, and then have their children try and avenge them years later. You couldn't even age normally. You just aged when you leveled up on this extremely linear pattern. They had me on a string that although the tether got longer and longer, I still was kind of believing the bullshit they were throwing up. The biggest letdown is having somebody hype it up, and Peter Molyneux is the king of hype. <laughs> Metroid, Super Metroid, Metroid 2, they're all really great. Other M, horrible, 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 horrible. Metroid Other M, it was like a scar on my heart. It's like somebody took a knife and just went in there just like, just like that. I don't, I don't like to think about it. As a matter of fact, I forgot I had it. I forgot it existed. Literally, I was going through my Wii games the other day and I was like, oh, that's a thing. A thing I want to forget. And I have, literally. I've tried to remove it from my brain because I just did not enjoy it so much. I was so excited for it. So very excited. You don't understand how excited I was for a new Metroid game featuring Samus. But you let me down. You've never let me down before. You let me down now. The worst letdown in video game history is Conquer Live and Reloaded for the Xbox. And that's because they totally screwed over the multiplayer. I'm a huge fan of Conquer's Bad Fur Day on Nintendo 64, and one of the reasons I like it so much is because it is badass multiplayer. So when I heard they're doing this Live and Reloaded version, Xbox Live, I was super pumped. Like, not only was I gonna get to play the game again, you know, with updated graphics, but I was gonna have a chance to play the multiplayer anytime I wanted online against people. But did I get that? No! In Bad Fur Day, there was like, there was one game type where you, you basically, you run like a deathmatch area and you got to, you know, fight against each other. You used some guns, but you also used like katanas and like, it was a bunch of fun. And so I guess they just decided to take that little element and use that as an excuse to jump on the shooter bandwagon and build an entire game around it. You know what, they could have still done that as long as they left the other shit in there. Why take it out? Where's the heist game? Where's the rapture game? Where's all the badass stuff that made Conquer multiplayer fun? I was completely ripped off. It's not broken, you don't need to fix it. It was a lot of fun. And I mean, they did that with the game. Why? Why would they do that? They, I've already just played through the main game again, so I'm not even expecting- wh Why? Why would you change it? When the main game's the same, there's no reason to take it from me! The worst letdown in video game history for me didn't happen in a video game at all. It happened in an episode of Death Battle. It was Zelda versus Peach. And I love Zelda. I really hate Peach. I hate that bitch. And I wanted Zelda to win so bad. And it was all anyone had talked about for ages, and I would sit there listening to their conversations, and it went back and forth. I kept trying to see if I could figure out who would win. Zelda is really strong, but Peach has so many items. And I remember the day that we got to watch it, um, because we got to watch before anyone else. And we all sat around the computer screen to see the episode for the first time. And the episode started playing and 
the animation was just beautiful. It was, it was incredible to watch. It was our new style of animation, and Zelda fought so bravely right up until the end. All because of a sheep. Not because of strength or because she deserved to win, but because Peach used a sheep. And that was when my dreams were crushed. When Ben crushed my dreams. I don't know why he did that. I know it comes down to science and blah, blah, blah. But he had a choice. Ben, you had a choice! And we know what choice he made. 